Clinical Technique of Composite Restoration A Initial Clinical Procedures, B Tooth Preparation for Composite C Restorative Technique for Composite A Initial Clinical Procedures, 1 Local Anesthesia, Patient is more relaxed, Reduced salivation to preparation of operating site Clean the operating site with slurry of pumice to remove any Clean the operating site with slurry of pumice to remove any debris, plaque debris, plaque, pellicle, and superficial stains. Calculus removal prophylaxis pastes containing flavoring agents, or fluorides act as contaminants and should be avoided to prevent a possible conflict with the acid etch. Technique Clinical Technique Technique Color varies with translucency, thickness of enamel and dentin, age thickness of enamel and dentin, age of the patient, presence of any of the patient, presence of any external or internal stains external or internal stains different color zones are present different color zones are present, incisal third is lighter and dincisal third is lighter and translucent than cervical third dot translucent than cervical third. Middle third is blend of two middle third is blend of two three. Shade selection. One. Determine shade at the start of an appointment, before the tooth is subjected to dehydration, tooth is subjected to dehydration, 2. Use either natural light natural light, not direct sunlight, or a color, not direct sunlight, or a color corrected artificial light source. Corrected artificial light source. 3. Drape the patient with a neutral colored cover if clothing is 3. Drape the patient with a neutral colored cover if clothing is bright bright 4. Make rapid comparisons rapid comparisons with shade tabs, no more than 5 with shade tabs, no more than 5 seconds each viewing, make the selection rapidly to avoid seconds each viewing, make the selection rapidly to avoid eye fatigue eye fatigue. Teeth and shade guide should be wet to simulate the oral environment. The dentin shady dentin shade is usually selected from the cervical third of the tooth, whereas the enamel enamel shade shade is selected from its incisal third. To confirm the final shade to confirm the final shade, a small increment of selected composite is placed adjacent to the area to be restored and then light cured for matching. After fabricating the silicone key and before isolating the tooth it is imperative to choose the shade before the tooth gets dehydrated. The idea would be to use the minimal amount of layers needed for such a restoration and to employ the controlled body thickness technique. Automated Shade Selection Automated Shade Selection 4. Isolation of Operating Site Site, Rubber Dam Rubber Dam, Cotton Rolls, Retraction Cord Retraction Cord 1. Conventional 2. Beveled Conventional 3.3 Modified Modified 4.4 Box shape box shape 5.5 Facial slash lingual slot facial slash lingual slot B cavity designs for composite cavity preparation B cavity designs for composite cavity preparation Tooth preparation tooth preparation Tooth preparation is limited limited to extent of the defect, that is extension for prevention, including proximal contact clearance, is not necessary unless it is required to facilitate proximal matrix placement. Toto facilitate bonding facilitate bonding, tooth surface is made rough using diamond abrasives. Pulpal and axial walls pulpal and axial walls need not to be flat. Enamel bevel is enamel bevel is given in some cases to increase the surface area for etching and bonding. Long bevel and smooth margins A40 micron diamond is used to smoothen out the jagged margins of the tooth and create a smooth bevel at least 2 mm beyond the fracture line. This softens the edges and rounds off the fractured enamel prisms. The situation after the diamond burr has been used. When one is making the bevel it is best to be made in sunburst appearance so that the light reflection in the finished restoration is from a wavy line and not a straight line. A ceramic polishing rubber is used to smoothen the margins further. Softlex discs are then used to create a smooth margin at an angle once again to maintain the bevel. This view shows a very smooth margin and the bevel rather clearly. Similar to that of cavity preparation for amalgam restoration. Similar to that of cavity preparation for amalgam restoration. A uniform depth of the cavity with 90 degrees cavo surface margin is a uniform depth of the cavity with 90 degrees cavo surface margin is required required indications indications 1.1. 1. 1. 
moderate to large class I and class 2 restorations moderate to large class I and class 2 restorations 2.2 Preparation is located on root surfaces. Preparation is located on root surfaces. 3.3 Old amalgam restoration being replaced. Old amalgam restoration being replaced. Conventional conventional. 1.1 Similar to conventional cavity. Similar to conventional cavity design. Design 2.2 Have some beveled enamel. Have some beveled enamel margins. Margins. Indications. Indications. 1.1 Composite is used to replace composite is used to replace existing restoration. Existing restoration. Class 3, 4, V, Class 3, 4, V, 2.2. Restore large area, restore large area, rarely used for posterior composite, rarely used for posterior composite restorations, restorations, beveled conventional, beveled conventional. Advantage of enamel bevel ends of enamel rods are more effectively etched producing deeper micro undercuts than when only the sides of enamel rods are etched. 1.1 No specified wall configuration. No specified wall configuration. 2.2 No specified pulpal or axial depth. No specified pulpal or axial depth. 3.3 all parameters determined by extent of carries. All parameters determined by extent of carries. 4.4. Conserve tooth and obtain retention. Conserve tooth and obtain retention. Micro mechanical. Dot, micro mechanical. 5.5. Scooped out appearance. Scooped out appearance. Indications. Indications. Small. Cavitated. Carious lesion surrounded by enamel. Small. Cavitated. Carious lesion surrounded by enamel correcting enamel defects. Correcting enamel defects. Modified modified. Box only preparation indicated when only the proximal surface is faulty with no lesion present on the occlusal surface prepared with either an inverted cone or diamond stone held parallel to the long axis of tooth crown. Initial proximal axial depth, 0.2 mm inside dash. Neither bevel nor secondary retention required. Facial or lingual slot facial or lingual slot 1.1 Lesion is proximal but access is possible through lesion is proximal but access is possible through facial or lingual surface facial or lingual surface 2.2 Cavo surface is 90 or greater. Cavo surface is 90 or greater 3.3 Direct access for removal of caries. Direct access for removal of caries Matrix placement matrix placement two types of matrices are available two types of matrices are available polyester matrix polyester matrix metal matrix metal matrix various matrix retainer which can be used are various matrix retainer which can be used are toflemier retainer toflemier retainer compound supported metal matrix compound supported metal matrix Sectional matrix system palodent contact matrix sectional matrix system palodent contact matrix 23. Polyester matrix Polyester matrix used especially class 3, class 4 class V cavities used especially class 3, class 4 class V cavities advantage advantage, they allow the light to pass they allow the light to pass disadvantage disadvantage, they are not rigid and get deformed during they are not rigid and get deformed during placement of rigid material and contact cannot be properly placement of rigid material and contact cannot be properly restored restored metal matrix metal matrix ultra thin metal matrices 0.001.002 inch are used ultra thin metal matrices 0.001.002 inch are used band should be pre contoured outside the mouth band should be pre contoured outside the mouth 24. Etching syringe for dispensing gel etchant applicator tip for liquid etchant 30 to 40% CONC. Of phosphoric used, ideally 37%, for enamel and dentin for 15 SEC and then rinsed off. Available as liquid and gel. Adhesion. 25. Etching procedure etching procedure. 26. Etching enamel affects both prism core and prism periphery. Transforms smooth enamel into very irregular surface. When fluid resin is applied to etched surface resin penetrates etched surface forms resin tags basis for adhesion of resin to enamel. 27. Etching dentin etching dentin affects intertubular and peritubular dentin. 
removes the smear layer and exposes collagen network to achieve optimal adhesion to the dentinal surface. After rinsing the surface is kept slightly moistened when dentin is also involved because it allows the primer and adhesive material to more effectively penetrate the collagen fiber to form a hybrid layer which is the basis for mechanical bond to dentin. 2835 Hybrid Layer Formation in Dentine Etchant Primer Adhesive Resin Intertubular Dentine Peritubular Dentine Dentinal Tubules Hybrid Zone Collagen 29 Etch 2 mm beyond the beveled margins Etch 2 mm beyond the beveled margins The tooth is etched and the adjacent teeth are protected with Teflon tape at this point in time. Selective etching is advised and in this case 37% phosphoric acid was used for 30 seconds. On the enamel and 15 SECS. On the dentine. 30. The etchant is rinsed off for at least 15 seconds. The dentine is kept moist for adequate bonding. 31. Etching priming bonding dentistry velcro, hook and loop fastener. 32 39 The smear layer The smear layer 1 5 m bond strength to tooth structure 2 5 m pa can be altered or removed because it incorporates microorganisms. In addition, it is loosely attached to the underlying dentin, providing for a weak joint between the tooth tissues and the restorative material. Advantages It thus provides a drier surface for adhesion, minimizes post-operative hypersensitivity preventing the ingress of irritants from the restorative material to the tubules. 33. MMP2, 8, and 9. 34. In conclusion, the results of this study show direct evidence of increased MMP2 and minus 9 activities following adhesive application, regardless of the use of etch and rinse or self-etch adhesive systems. Since the present study design allowed for identification of the exact MMP isoforms investigated, this evidence confirms that application of these adhesives substantially increases the dentin degrading activity exerted by MMP2 and minus 9, indicating that these proteases may play a direct role in hybrid layer degradation and loss of bond strength over time. The generally higher level of activity seen in etch and rinse adhesives compared with self-etching adhesives seems to correlate with the more rapid destruction of hybrid layers seen in etch and rinse bonds, relative to self-etch adhesives. However, that difference may be due to the fact that pre-etched dentin treated with etch and rinse adhesives simply exposes more dentin matrix than occurs with self-etching adhesives. 35. Recommended clinical application procedure The reported in vivo tests were performed with single bond, 3M, using 2% chlorhexidine digluconate solution, CHX, by Proderma, Parasicaba SP, Brazil. Based on convenience and what was available at our clinics, we selected the 2% chlorhexidine solution, Concepsis, Ultradent Incorporated, South Jordan, Utah, 84095, Applied it for 1 minute after etching with 37% phosphoric acid for 15 seconds, water rinsing thoroughly and drying to moist surface before applying CHX. The CHX treated surface is again dried to a moist surface followed by the resin application of adhesive resin like OptiBond Solo Plus, Kerr USA, Orange California, 92867, which we use. In addition, to enhance the bond strength, we recommend at least two separate coats of the bonding agent resins applied without pooling of the resins in the PrEP 29. Also, air pressure drying is required to evaporate the solvent out of the bonding resins for 10 seconds between coats and after the last coat to ensure thorough light curing. Better solvent evaporation increases the degree of cure and prevents excess water absorption by water displacement of the remaining solvent. This increases bond strength, decreases nano leakage, hydrolysis of the resin and MMP's attack on the collagen of the hybrid layer with time 60. These procedures are designed to minimize sensitivity, marginal staining, or chipping and improve retention of direct bonded composite restorations. 36. How to increase the durability of how to increase the durability of resin dentin bonds resin dentin bonds September 2011. Volume 32, Issue 7 David H. Pashley, DMD. Ph.D., Franklin Arte, B.D.S.C., Han, Ph.D., and Satoshi Imazato, D.D.S., Ph.D. Abstract resin dentin bonds are not as durable as was previously thought. 
Microtensile bond strengths often fall 30% to 40% in 6 to 12 months. The cause of this poor durability is a combination of the activation of matrix metalloproteinases, MMPs, by weak acids such as lactic acid released by caries producing bacteria, and acid etchants used in adhesive bonding systems. These acids uncover and activate matrix-bound MMPs. The other contributing factor is incomplete resin infiltration. If all exposed collagen fibrils were enveloped by resin, the MMPs would not have free access to water, an obligatory requirement of these enzymes. Recently, several inhibitors of MMPs have been added to adhesive primers. Examples include chlorhexidine, CHX, benzalkonium chloride, BAC, and MDPB, an antibacterial monomer used in a two-step cell-fetching primer adhesive. The advantage of MDPB over CHX and BAC is that it polymerizes with adhesive resins and cannot leach from the hybrid layer. This is an example of what can be termed a therapeutic adhesive system that provides anti-37. Primer or conditioners Primer or conditioners Primers condition the dentin surface and improve bonding. Acidic in nature e.g. EDDA, nitric acid, Maleic acid functions remove smear layer and provide subtle opening of dentinal tubules. Provides modest etching of the intertubular dentine. Ensures sufficient wetting to dentin, displace residual water and sufficiently carry monomer into created microporosities. Primers are thus called adhesion. 38. Effective primers should contain hydrophilic monomers, e.g. hydroxyethyl methacrylate, HEMA that have an affinity for wet dentin and a hydrophobic part that co-polymerizes with the subsequently applied adhesive resin. The primer could contain organic solvents, such as acetone or ethanol. 39. Because of their volatile characteristics, these solvents act as water chaser, it displaces water from the dentinal surface, promoting the infiltration of monomers through the exposed collagen. A primer application time of at least 15 seconds should be performed to allow proper interdiffusion of monomers to full depth of demineralized dentin. 40. Bonding agents Bonding agents classified first generation, 1980, used glycerophosphoric acid dimethacrylate provide a bifunctional molecule. Disadvantage, low bond strength. E.g. NPGGMA second generation, 1983, adhesive agents for composite resin bond strength three times more than before disadvantage adhesion was short term the bond eventually hydrolyzed eg dot prisma universal bond clear file scotch bond 41 third generation coupling agent had bond strength to that of resin to etched enamel disadvantages use is more complex and require two to three application steps eg tenure Scotch Bond 2 Universal Bond 4th Generation All Bond 2 System consists of two primers, NPGGMA and bisphenol dimethacrylate, BPDM, and an unfilled resin adhesive, 40% bisgma 30% UDMA 30% HEMA, 5th Generation Single Bond Adhesive Advantage Single Step Application e.g. .3M Single Bond, 1 Step, BISCO. 42. Multiple coats of bonding agent are applied. Single bond, 3 ms, and after 30 seconds air is blown to let the solvent evaporate and for thinning the bonding agent. It is applied on all the area that has been etched and not only on the fractured margin. 43. FRQ The Next Jungle. Adhesives Dental Adhesives Dental Adhesives Dental Adhesives Dental Adhesives. 44. FRQ 1960 1970 1980 1990 2000 2010 first slash second generation only bond to enamel, pH neutral third general pH. Etch and rinse fifth gen. Etch and rinse sixth gen. Self etch seventh gen. Self etch 1989, hybrid layer dental adhesives history and phenyl glycin glycidyl methacrylate Bowen 1965. 47 1960 1970 1980 1990 2000 2010 1 th slash 2 th generation no etching ph neutral 3 th general ph 7 3 step etch and rinse 5th gen etch and rinse 6th gen 
Self Etch 7th Gen. Self Etch 1989, Hybrid Layer Dental Adhesives History and Phenyl Glycin Glycidyl Methacrylate Bowen 1965. 48 1960 1970 1980 1990 2000 2010 1 th slash 2 th generation no etching ph neutral 3 th general ph 7 3 step etch and rinse 2 step etch and rinse 6th gen self etch 7th gen self etch 1989 hybrid layer dental adhesives history and phenyl glycin glycidyl methacrylate bowen 1965 49 1960 1970 1980 1990 2000 2010 1 th slash 2 th generation no etching ph neutral 3 th general ph 7 3 step etch and rinse 2 step etch and rinse 2 step self etch 7th gen self etch 1989 hybrid layer dental adhesives history and phenyl glycin glycidyl methacrylate bowen 1965 50 1960 1970 1980 1990 2000 2010 1 th slash 2 th generation no etching ph neutral 3 th general ph 7 3 step etch and rinse 2 step etch and rinse 2 step self etch 1 step self etch 1989 hybrid layer dental adhesives history and phenyl glycin glycidyl methacrylate bowen 1965 51 1990 2000 2010 3 step etch and rinse 2 step etch and rinse 2 step self etch 1 step self etch 1989 hybrid layer dental adhesives generations 52 frq 53 frq tooth composition enamel wt percent dentin wt percent Minerals 97% homogeneous 70% heterogeneous organic 1% 20% water 1% 10% 54 FRQ straightforward bonding strong acids etch very well surface can be dry resin flows in spaces polymerizes forming strong bond bonding to enamel bonding to enamel etch enamel with 35% phosphoric acid enamel etch pattern 55 FRQ bonding mechanism to dentin first Second generation, only bond to etched enamel, bond to dentin best achieved by sandwich technique with glass ionomer base. Third generation, weakly acidic primers partially dissolve the smear layer and etch dentin, low bond strength due to inadequate resin systems. 56. FRQ bond to dentin, the hybrid layer e.g. fourth generation bonding primer resin tags composite. 57. FRQ the hybrid layer demineralized, resin impregnated dentin concept established by Nakabayashi, 1980s, TEM visualization techniques by Yashida and Van Meerbeek, 1998, A, glass filled adhesive resin, Optibond FL, H, hybrid layer T, dentin tubule R, resin tag I, non demineralized intertubular dentin B Van Meerbeek ETAL, J dent. RES 1998-2M 58 FRQ etching enamel and dentin, total etch, hydrophilic primer wets and penetrates dentin very well hydrophobic bond introduced around 1993 first adhesives with high dentin bond strength gold standards, OptiBond FL, Scotch Bond Multipurpose, 4th generation adhesives 44 th th generation generation AB etch prime bond. 59 FRQ etching enamel and dentin, total etch, hydrophilic primer and hydrophobic bond of fourth generation combined into one bottle introduced around 1997 most popular adhesives in many parts of the world examples, prime and bond NT, OptiBond Solo Plus, single bond 2 fifth generation adhesives 55 th th generation generation etch prime and bond. 60. FRQ fifth generation adhesives advantages, Less steps compared to fourth generation long clinical history of over 10 years disadvantages, highest incidence of post-operative sensitivities higher technique sensitivity moisture of etched dentin thickness of adhesive layer phase separation loss of dentin bond strength over time. 61. FRQ etched dentin burcut dentin with smear layer more complicated bonding acids demineralize and open tubule surface is hydrophilic and must be kept moist requires priming must be completely sealed to prevent sensitivity etched dentin and post-operative sensitivity. 62. 
FRQ smear layer after cavity preparation Cavity preparation produces smear layer smear plugs close orifices of dentin tubules. 63. FRQ etching opens dentin tubules etching with phosphoric acid, and also strong self-etch adhesives with pH 2, remove smear plugs open tubules, etched bovine dentin smear layer is removed adhesive needs to close open tubules completely. 64. Perfect impregnation no sensitivity unperfect impregnation nano leakage no impregnation sensitivity weak hybridization micro leakage resin impregnation. 65. FRQ wet dry moist right surface moisture an issue with total etch adhesives. 66. FRQ dull dentin appearance indicates dehydration what happens if the tooth surface is over dried, what happens if the tooth surface is over dried. The collapsed collagen decreases porosity and reduces adhesive absorption, increases chance for sensitivity. 67. When speaking about total etch or fifth generation adhesives, what dreaded word comes to mind if they are used improperly, sensitivity. Why is this the case? How many of you have wrestled with the moisture issue in bonding situations? How moist is moist? How wet is wet? How dry is dry? Getting the right surface moisture is a critical element in past and present adhesive systems. Remember, once the dentin surface is etched, probably the most critical factor for high bond strength attainment pertains to the surface moisture of the tooth. The primary concern is that we do not overdry the tooth nor keep excess moisture on the tooth. Wet, if excess, pooled water remains on the surface of dentin or enamel, it may dilute primer or adhesive and inhibit infiltration into the tooth, resulting in low bond strengths. Dry, if we bond to enamel alone, it's okay to dry the surface off completely. But, when bonding to dentin, drying the dentin will significantly reduce your bond strength and cause sensitivity for the patient. Therefore it is important to maintain a moist bonding surface. Now let's take a look at the SEM photographs above. In a dry field, upper right, notice the lack of collagen fiber compared to the collagen fiber present in the moist field, lower middle. The collagen layers must be present and available for the adhesive to infiltrate in order to get a bond in all of the areas between the tubules. 68. FRQ The tooth surface needs to be moist, the tooth surface needs to be moist. Expanded collagen is porous and will absorb adhesive, minimizes post-op sensitivity. 69. To overcome this problem in dentin bonding, two different approaches can be followed depending on the primer of the adhesive system. The first approach, known as the dry bonding technique, involves air drying of enamel and dentin and applying a water-based premier water-based primer capable of re-expanding the collapsed collagen network. 70. An alternative approach, wet bonding technique, is to leave dentin moist, thereby preventing any collapse of collagen, and use a solvent containing primer, known for its water solvent containing primer, known for its water chasing capacity chasing capacity. The solvent displaces dentinal water, thereby carrying the monomers into the open dentinal tubules and through the nanospaces of the collagen web. The solvents of the primer are then evaporated by gentle air drying, leaving the active primer monomers behind. 71. FRQ Phantom Hybrid Layer Protegeo, 1995 Over Etched, Over Dried Dentin Adhesive Resin Uninfiltrated, Collapsed Collagen, Removed by NAOCL, Resin Tags in Non Demineralized Dentin. 72. FRQ Consequences of Over Drying 1. Collapse of Collagen Network 2. Incomplete Infiltration and Seal of the Etched Dentin 3. Fluid movement within collagen leads to post-operative sensitivities 4. Lower bond strength 5. No protection of the exposed collagen against degradation 6. Endogenic enzymes, matrix metalloproteinases slash MMPs, are liberated and activated during etching step 7. MMPs are active in incompletely infiltrated dentin and lead to significant loss of dentin bond strength over a few months. 73. FRQ How to Minimize POS with 5th Generation Adhesives Isolation with Rubber Dam to Prevent Contamination Do Not Over Etch Dentin, 
Apply etchant to enamel first, then dentin thoroughly rinse off etching gel keep dentin moist after etching, do not dry with air, but rather blot excess moisture apply adhesive immediately after blotting apply adhesive generously, 2 to 3 coats do not air thin too aggressively, if all adhesive is blown away, there is nothing to bond to continue. Immediately with filling composite. 74. FRQ self etch adhesives, 6th and 7th gen, acidic monomers in formulation to provide etch pattern for retention and chemical bond, e.g. MDP, 4 meta, introduced around 2000, 6th generation, e.g. clear file SE bond, first version of prompt L pop, mild SE adhesives, pH greater than 2, slash strong SE adhesives, pH 2, successful in USA, Japan, Western Europe ease of use low incidence of post-operative sensitivity. 75. FRQ acidic, hydrophilic primer hydrophobic bond, e.g. clear file SE bond, or acidic resin and aqueous phase have to be mixed before application, e.g. Zeno 3, add per prompt L pop, 6th generation self etch adhesives A etch and prime bond 66 th th generation generation B. 76. FRQ 7th generation self etch adhesives all components combined into one bottle usually mild, ultra mild, pH 2, fastest growing segment in adhesives market intensely researched, but limited clinical evidence available etch and prime and bond 77 th th generation generation. 77. FRQ total number of dentists number of dentists encountering post-operative sensitivity total number of post-operative sensitivities total number of restorations placed percentage of restorations with post-operative sensitivity 1726 5572 5, 0.5 percent low POS with self-etch adhesives at per easy bond application test 3 MS internal data. 78. FRQ Why do self-etch adhesives reduce post-operative sensitivity? 1. No separate etching step, minimize danger of overetching and desiccation of dentin 2. Resin penetrates as far as demineralization of dentin, minimize danger of unimpregnated collagen layer under adhesive. 79. FRQ self etch two steps demineralization resin penetration risk of nano voids demineralization resin penetration plus two consecutive steps risk of nano voids if penetration depth of etchant and resin are not equal higher risk of post op sensitivity one single step no risk of nano leakage since penetration depths are equal lower risk of post op sensitivity at per easy one 80 FRQ Why do self-etch adhesives reduce post-operative sensitivity? 1. No separate etching step, minimize danger of overetching and desiccation of dentin 2. Resin penetrates as far as demineralization of dentin, minimize danger of unimpregnated collagen layer under adhesive 3. Adhesive is neutralized by basic hydroxyapatite during application. 81. FRQ Why do self-etch adhesives reduce post-operative sensitivity? 1. No separate etching step, minimize danger of overetching and desiccation of dentin 2, resin penetrates as far as demineralization of dentin, minimize danger of unimpregnated collagen layer under adhesive 3, adhesive is neutralized by basic hydroxyapatite during application 4, mild self-etch adhesives do not dissolve smear layer completely, most tubules remain protected by smear plugs. 82. FRQ 7th generation adhesive on dentin lab demineralized dentin particle filled particle filled adhesive adhesive clear file protect liner acid resistant submicron hybrid layer dentin tubule smear smear plug plug tem image courtesy of Professor Van Meerbeek, University Leuven, Belgium. 83. FRQ Van Meerbeek ETAL 2009, Dental Materials. 84. FRQ 3 step etch and rinse adhesives and, mild, 2 step self etch adhesives are still the benchmarks when bonding to enamel, an etch and rinse approach is definitely preferred when bonding to dentin, a mild self etch approach is superior, as it involves, like with glass ionomers, additional ionic bonding altogether, 
selective etching of enamel followed by the application of the two-step self-etch adhesive to both enamel and dentin currently appears the best choice Van Meerbeek ETAL 2009. Conclusions 85 FRQ Bond Strengths Bart Van Meerbeek et al. Relationship between Bond Strength Tests and Clinical Outcomes Dent Materials, 2009, 11, 148 FF A good correlation, was found between the annual failure rates reported in the systematic review of Pumans et al. and the Battle of the Bonds Shear Bond Strength data from DeGrange ETAL. The significantly highest bond strength was measured for OptiBond FL, CUR, that somewhat surprisingly performed not significantly better than the relatively new one-step adhesive easy bond, 3MS, dot. 86. FRQ TEM Interface Analysis Denton, Self-Etch, Professor Van Meerbeek. 87. FRQ TEM Interface Analysis Cut Enamel, Self-Etch, Professor Van Meerbeek. 88. FRQ. 89. Composite placement Composite placement, handling of composite material is totally different than that of amalgam, as composites are not condensable not condensable because of their putty putty consistency tending consistency tending to stick to applicators and condensing instruments. Teflon or gold plated packing instruments have to be used. Dragging and flushing of the composites towards the walls towards the walls and margins off margins of the cavity during shaping of the restoration, prior to curing, is mandatory to increase its adaptation increase its adaptation. This can also be done with fine brushes that also smooth hence the composite increment surface. 90. Irrespective of the location of the restoration, composites should be placed and polymerized in increments. This ensures complete polymerization of the whole composite mass and aids in the anatomical buildup of the restoration. Each increment should not be more than 2 mm in thickness, Thickness of more than 2 mm is difficult to cure and result in more polymerization shrinkage stress. 91. Successive cusp buildup technique Successive cusp buildup technique, the first composite increment is applied to a single dentin surface without contacting without contacting the opposing preparation walls. After this restoration, buildup is done by placing wedge-shaped composite increments. This technique minimizes the C-factor minimizes the C-factor in three-dimensional tooth preparations. 92. Curing of the composite, the material is cured using the light curing machine for 5 seconds, LED, or 10 seconds, halogen, for every increment of composite that was placed. 93. Polymerized light should be directed from all sides off from all sides of proximal box proximal box so as to have complete polymerization complete polymerization. 94. Finishing and polishing, the use of polishers with enhancers and polishing paste were done after the trimming of the excess composites. 95. Finish and polish tungsten carbide finishing burr is used to contour the marginal ridge, note the water spray. Rugby ball-shaped fine diamond is used to contour the occlusal anatomy. All high-speed instruments must be used with water spray. A flexible, abrasive, impregnated disc is used to polish and smooth the occlusal contours. 96. Finishing and Polishing. 97. 1. Aesthetic. 2. Conservation of tooth structure. 3. Insulative. 4. Bonded to tooth structure. 5. Command set 6. Reparable. 7. Can be polished at the same appointment advantages. 98. Composite restorations are very technique sensitive so utmost care is necessary before, during and after manipulation. The visible modes of failures 1, discoloration especially at margins 2, marginal fracture 3, recurrent caries 4, post-operative sensitivity 5, Cross fracture of restoration 6, lack of maintaining contact 7, accumulation of plaque around the restoration. 99 1. Packet 3. 102. Small ball ended burnisher. 101 4. Micro brush applicator. 102 5. Finishing burrs, fine and extra fine, egg shaped flame, needle. 103 5 Softlex Dicks and Holders. 
6. Abrasive strips. 